41 to 44. <clears throat> and it says, Jesus said to them, How does David say that the Christ is his son? David himself say in the book of Psalm, The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies put story. So David called him Lord, and how can he be his son? That's good. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this time that you have given us here the word to Help us to understand things that you have saved to us in the help of the cross. And we pray to God. Lord help us. Okay, so I think Thailand by understanding who Jesus really is. Now, last Sunday, your topic for that is understanding the resurrection. <clears throat> At kahit na maunawaan natin yung resurrection, kung tayo ay walang hamang relasyon sa Panginoon to faith in Jesus Christ, then hindi natin maranasan yung resurrection. Kagaya ng mga Saduseo sa ating mag-aaral na karahan, sila ay may maling pananaw sa resurrection. At the same thing, dito sa ating pag-aaral na yun, sila ay mayroon din maling pananaw sa Misaya. <clears throat> At ito pong ating uh, text ay masusumpungan din sa aklat ni Matthew Kabanatang dalawang put dalawa mula sa mga talatang tatlong put lima apat apat na put isa hanggang apat na put ani at ganito po ang sinasabi Habang nagkakatipo ng mga pariseyo tinanong sila ni Jesus Ano ang pagkaalam ninyo tungkol sa Misaya? Sino ang may anak sa kanya? Si David po, sagot nila. Kung gayon, sabi ni Jesus, Bakit tumawag sa kanya ng Panginoon si David ng kasihan nito ng Espiritu? Ang sabi niya, sinabi ng Panginoon sa aking Panginoon, maupo ka sa aking kanan hanggang lubusan kong mapasuko sa iyo ang mga kaaway mo. Ngayon, si David na rin ang tumawag sa kanya ng Panginoon. Paano masasabing anak ni David ang Mesaya? <coughs> Isa man sa kanila'y walang nakasagot at mula noon, wala nang mangahas na magsanong sa kanya. Sa aklat ko ni Mark, ay magsunong din na natin ng kalatang ito, by verse, chapter 12, verses 35 to 37. 
Samantala nang nagtuturo si Jesus sa templo, sinabi niya, Panginoon, masasabi sa masasabi, masasabi ng mga eskriba na ang Mesias ay anak ni David. Si David na rin, nang kasihan ng Espiritu Santo, ang nagpahayag ng ganito. Sinabi ng Panginoon, sa aking Panginoon, mawuka sa aking kanan hanggang lubusan ko mapasuko ang iyong mga kaaway ang mga kaaway mo si David na rin ang tumawag sa kanya ng Panginoon paano magiging anak ni David ang Mesias at naginig na mabuti sa kanya ang maraming tao So ito pong pasahin mo ito, ay napakalaga ng ating portal. Ito po ay isang mahirap kinawain. Di ba yung nakaraan natin pagkakaroon at tungkol sa resurrection? Upang tayo ay maranasan natin yung uh, resurrection, tayo dapat ay merong tamang relasyon sa Diyos So magitan para lang palataya sa ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. At upang tayo ay magkaroon ng para lang palataya sa ating Panginoong Kristo, kailangan nating maunawaan sino ba sa laga? Si Jesus. Sino ba ang Kristo na tinatawag na anak ni David? <coughs> Ito po ay isang uh, popular title of the Messiah, yung pong son of David. At kung maalala nyo yung isang bulag sa daan ng Jericho, ito po yung tawag niya sa ating Panginoon. Luke 18, 38-39, sabi po rin. And he cried out, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And those who were in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more. No, mas lalo pa siyang sumigaw. Sabi niya, Son of David, mahamag ka sa akin. At ganito rin yung address ng mga crowd noong ang ating Panginoong sa Kristo ay papasok sa Jerusalem. Matthew 21.9 And the crowd that went before him and that followed him were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. So ang ating panahon sa Kristo, it po ay his cast out the young doubt dito po sa validity ng title, the son of David. So, yung pong quotation sa Psalm 110 verse 1. At yung pong panahon ng ating Pano sa Kristo, yung Psalm ay attributed po kay David. At dito sa pasahin na po, kinuha yung pong nire-refer, yung Messiah. At sinabi po dito na narinig ni Haring Gabi ang Diyos na namusap No, sa ating Panos of Christo no, David says that he heard God speaking to his anointed one and tell him to sit at his right hand until his enemies become his footstool and in it David called the Messiah my Lord how can the Messiah be at once David's son and David's Lord. Paano magiging uh, ang Mesias ay anak ni David at Panginoon ni David. <clears throat> so dito po ang ating Panso Cristo huh? ay he tried to do 
yung lagi po niyang ginagawa to correct yung pong popular idea patungkol sa Misaya. Na yung Misaya, which was that under him, yung golden age would come at yung Israel ay magiging greatest nation sa buong mundo. Ito po ay isang dream no, of political power. At paano ito magaganap? Meron maraming mga ideas, subalit ang isa sa popular idea that merong dinitaw no, na great descendant of David na darating siya ay isang invincible captain and king. Yung po yung pananaw ng mga scribes and pariseyo at ng mga Jews. <clears throat> Kung kaya nga, yung title The Son of David ay may halong Uh, world dominion and military power, power at uh, material conquest. So, ang sinasabi po rito ng ating kung sa Kristo, iniisip nyo yung darating na Messiah ay anak ni David at siya nga. But, higit para po, siya ay Panginoon. He is Lord. <clears throat> He was telling men that they must revise their ideas of what son of David meant. They must abandon these fantastic dreams of world power and visualize the Messiah as Lord of the heart and lives of men. So Jesus was implicitly blaming them for having too little an idea of God. It is always man's tendency to make God in his own image. No? Tendency ko ng tao na yung Diyos ay gawin niya dun sa kanyang nais na image. Kaya no? at marami kung ano yung maisip ay gagawin at siya yung kanilang sasambahin. No, kasi sabi nila, ito yung image ng Diyos. No? <clears throat> At hindi nila makita yung full majesty of God. So hanggang dito po sa point na to, yung ating Panso Kristo is mostly on the defense side. No? against din po sa kanyang mga critics as a defense po siya. Chinachallenge uh, po siya. Chinyarin siya doon sa kanyang authority noong nilisin niya yung templo. And every time Jesus asked them a question, He answered the question with question. <laughs> Lagi niya ang kanta na yun, eh, alam niya. He answered the question with question. No? Ginanong siya sa authority, no? nung kung sa authority, kung bakit niya ginagawa yun, and ang response niya ay question about baptism of John. At ganun din dun sa uh, the parable of the wicked tenants or farmers. At pagkatapos ay tinrig po yung ating Panginoon at kinwestiyon siya about paying tribute to Caesar. Bibigay pa ng wish kay Caesar o hindi? At ganyan din naman nung nakarang Sunday doon sa babae na pito ang naging asawa. Sino ang magiging asawa niya? kapag sa resurrection. It's time Jesus answered the skeptic in a way that left them speechless. Hindi po sila makasagot. Kapag sinagot sila, 
ng ating Panasok Kristo. Sabi po dun sa verse 40 ng chapter 20, wala na naglakas loob upang siya ay damin. Every, ang hanggang dun po, siya ay on the defensive side. Dinedepensahan niya, sinasabi niya ang mga tanong. And this time, sa ating pasahe, siya naman po yung nasa offense. Siya naman yung nagtanong. So now Jesus questioned them. He takes up the offense. Kasi hindi na sila makapagtanong. So ako naman ang magtatanong. Ang kanyang intensyon ay ipakita sa mga audience dito sa temple court that neither they nor their teacher of the law understood their own scripture. Ipakita ng hot nice, ipakita ng hot nice pa ng sukristo doon sa mga tao na nato at even doon sa mga pinuro ng mga Israelites kung talagang naunawaan nila yung kanilang scripture. Sinasabi nila na ang Messiah ay physical descendant of David. But they wrongly thought that he would be just a great man. Sinasabi nila, ito, siya ay ang galing sa lahing David. Sinasabi, mali sila na yung Messiah is just a great man. A political savior who would bring in an age of peace and prosperity. Ang nais ng Panginoong Isok Kristo sa kanila ay makita nila na ang Messiah or Christ will not only be David's son but also David's Lord, God in human flesh. They needed the right view of Messiah so that they will not be deceived by false religion. And false religion now was embodied in the scribe and Pharisees, the religious leaders in Israel. Yung pong mga common people ay madali silang madisive into thinking that true spirituality was to be like these leaders. Yung tunay na uh, spirituality ay kagaya itong mga uh, leaders, religious leaders ng Israel. They dress differently. Everyone gave them respectful greeting in public. They sat down in front of the synagogue and in the seat of honor at public banquet. At kung maalala nyo ang ating mga pag-aaral ng nakaraan, ay yun lang pag-aaral ko natin ng mga ito. Lagi silang gusto na sa inahan ito sa sinagoga para mag-notis. At sabi pa rin ito ay nag-offer sila ng mahabang prayer. It seems far more spiritual than everyone else. And yet, yung kanilang puso ay malayo sa Diyos. They were full of pride. Tinupo sila ng pagmamataas ng kasakiman ng makasarili. So Jesus exposes them and warns of the great judgment that they will receive. So, kaya yung question dito ng ating konsultista is directing us to true religion which is to know that Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> True religion is to know Christ as Lord. True religion is to know 
Christ as Lord. So yung pong essence of true Christianity is to have a personal relationship with the living God through His Son, Jesus Christ. So yung pong pananitan ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, nung po sa John 17.3, sabi po niya, this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God <clears throat> and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So true Christianity is knowing Christ as Lord and Savior in daily life. Sa pang araw-araw kung natin buhay. And it involves to essential dalawang points po ang uh, makikita po lang. Una, knowing Christ as Lord means having the right understanding of His person. Knowing Christ as Lord means having the right understanding of His person. So in asking this question, <clears throat> Jesus was not playing a theological games dito po sa mga kanyang kritiko. Hindi po siya nagdadala ng uh, pasay upang magkaroon ng interest at uh, makita ng mga audience kung paano sinasagot ng ating pansupwisto itong mga nagtatanong sa kanya. <clears throat> yung mga nakikinig, marami yung mga audience habang siya ay tinatanong at habang siya ay sumasagot. Subalit, ang makikita po natin dito that Jesus was doing evangelism. He was going after soul. Bagamat alam ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo na ito mga religious leaders would surely condemn him to death. He was switching out them to them and to the greater audience, pressing them to consider the important question. Who do you say that I am? Ito po yung katanungan ng ating Pansa Cristo dito sa mga leaders at sa mga audience na nakikinig sa mga so in quoting from Psalm 110 verse 1, sinasabi ng ating Pansa Kristo, this is more essential. You need to recognize that Messiah is not only David's son, his descendant, but also David's Lord. The Father has promised to make all of his enemies a footstool for his feet. No? <clears throat> if even the great king called Messiah is Lord, then don't you think that you and I must do so also? Kung ang haring si Dabi ay tinawag ng Lord o Panginoon ang Messiah, hindi ba tayo naman ay tawagin natin ang Panginoon sa ang Messiah. Psalm 110 is quoted in the New Testament more than any other Old Testament scripture. So the Holy Spirit who inspired the writer of the Bible considered the Psalms to be that significant. <coughs> Jesus here affirms David as the author of the psalm, showing that the title of the psalm are a part of inspired scripture. And the psalm is <clears throat> proclaims Messiah not only a supreme ruler over all, but also as God appointed eternal priest a 
according to the order of Melchizedek and the future judge of all the nation. In verse 1 of Psalm 110, there are long conversation dito between two members of the Godhead. God is one in essence and yet three in subsistence. The Lord or Yahweh he speaks to David's Lord, the Messiah, revealing the plan of bringing all things into subjection to the Messiah. At makita po natin dito yung paradox which Jesus put to the crowd. Yung paradox po na inilagay ng ating mga sa Kristo dito sa mga karamihan. Sabi po niya, how can Messiah be both David's son and David's Lord at the same time. Sons are normally subject to the fathers, but David called this son Lord. Yung po mga anak, subject to sila sa mga aday. At bakit tinawag ni David itong kanyang anak, the Lord? <clears throat> The paradox cannot be solved unless Messiah is both human, David's son, and divine, David's Lord, in the same person. The Messiah is both human, David's son, and divine, David's Lord, in the same person. And the Jewish scribes acknowledged Messiah as David's descendant, a great man. They did not understand that he must also be David's Lord, God in human flesh. So Psalm 110 is a reference to the position of Christ after his resurrection and ascension into heaven. Nung po sa trial ng ating pan sa Kristo before sa the Senate dream, nung po siya ay tanungin, if he was the Christ, Jesus responds, nung po sa Luke 22 verse 69, but from now, from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. He was referring to Psalm 110 verse 1. <clears throat> Forty days after his resurrection, Jesus did ascend into heaven and took his place at the Father's right hand. Far above all rule and authority as the head of his church. Ephesians 1 20 verse chapter 1 verse 20 to 22. So as proof to Israel of his exaltation, God sent the Holy Spirit to the disciples on the day of Pentecost. Uh, gaya po na in-explain ni Peter sa kanyang sermon that day, on the day of Pentecost, <clears throat> Jesus ascension into heaven and the promise of pouring of Holy Spirit was proof that God has made this Jesus whom they crucified both Lord and Christ. Acts 2, 32 to 36. And yet the verse also showed that Messiah's enemies are not yet to subject to him. He did not come the first time to smite the nation and rule. With the right of iron. Hindi po nila siya, hindi po niya sila nilipon ng kanyang siya ay dumating. No? <clears throat> he did not press the wine of the first wrath of God, the Almighty. 
asidid ko. Kung po yung gagawin niya, doon sa kanya, kung muling kurikubalik mo, isa ikaw ang Meron pong isang article na mga Jewish rabbi explaining that why the Jews do not believe in Jesus. Yung pong article na to sa sinasabi nila that Jesus did not fulfill the Messianic prophecies. And ironically, the rabbis refers to prophecies that Messiah will fulfill in his second coming. Ang paniwala nila na darating ang Messiah, isang great warrior, great king, no, na siyang magsasamba sa kanila sa ah, kanilang pagkakasakot. But ang paniwala nila ay magaganap ito sa second coming because hindi nila nakita doon sa panahulan ng ating Manusong Kristo. <clears throat> At pagdating ng panahon na yon na kanilang inaakala ay huli na. Hindi hmm? na sila nakapag-repen. At sa panahon na yon ay namiss nila yung sinasabi ng scripture na ang Panginoon ay kailangan niyang magdanas muna ng kahirapan. That it is, was necessary for the Christ first to suffer these things and then to enter His glory. Into His glory. Luke 24 verse 26 and verse 46. At yung scripture plainly pronounce woe to those who are not subject to Jesus when He comes again. Aba, sa mga taong hindi nagpasakop sa ating Panasok Kristo sa kanyang muling pagbabalik. Masabi po dun sa Revelation 6.16 They will call out to the mountains and rock to fall on them and hide them from the wrath of the Lamb. <clears throat> the point is to know Jesus Christ in the proper sense we must have the right understanding of His person. Hmm. Scripture plainly reveals Him to be the risen and exalted Lord Gaya ng ating mga inawit kanina. <clears throat> Seated on the throne of glory at the right hand of the Father. At siya ay muling magbabalik. At sa kanyang pagbabalik, siya ay hindi na sa ating sermon to die para sa kanyang for his, for his people. Gaya ng sinasabi ng Isaiah chapter 23. But the Lord Jesus will come as the conquering king to suppress all opposition. Wrong theology is always mixed up with wrong living. Kung mali ang iyong pananaw, ang pamumuhay mo ay mali rin. Gaya nito ang mga pariseyo na ating saduseyo ating napag-aralan ng nakaraan. Mali yung kanilang pananaw sa resurrection. Ang kala nila yung resurrection ng muling pagkamuhay kapag ikaw ay nag-asawa rito, doon ay mag-asawa ka pa rin. Yan ang kanilang pananaw. No? Kung kaya mali yung kanilang pumuhay. Even dito sa ating Panasok Kristo, mali yung kanilang pananaw na ang kanilang Messiah ay darating as a great man. No? Kung kaya hindi nila in-accept ng ating mga sa Kristo ay Lord. Kung kaya ni Lord Lord nila ang kanilang mga sarili. At nais nila sila ay maging Lord din ng mga kanilang masasakupan. These Jewish leaders 
were not only mixed up about the resurrection, but also about the person of Christ. Entangled with their wrong theology was the fact that they liked being Lord of their own lives. They liked to honor and respect the honor and respect of the people. So, ang kailangan po nila ay dethrone nila yung kanilang sarili at i-enthrone nila yung ating Panginoon sa Kristo as Lord. Yan po yung kailangan ito ang mga uh, religious leader. At ang katanungan sa bawat isa natin, Who is Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? Sa atin mga po. What claims does he make about him? God says a man as this merely be David's son or must he also be David's Lord? <clears throat> and if he is David's Lord, should he not also be your Lord and my Lord? Kung siya ay Panginoon ni David, ni Haring David, hindi ba siya maging Panginoon natin na gaya ni Haring David? <coughs> Knowing Christ as Lord means having the right understanding of His person. Then po sa uh, book of John, merong seven high statements yung ating Panginoon Heso Cristo, Lord, sa John. Sa John 6.35, sabi po ng ating Heso Cristo, I am the bread of life. Pagdating sa John 8.12, nasabi po ng ating Pansok Kristo, I am the light of the world. And in John 10.7, sabi niya, I am the door. John 10.11, I am the good shepherd. John 11.25, I am the resurrection and the life. John 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 15, 1. I am the true divine. And here David called Jesus as his Lord. Second, knowing Christ as Lord means having the right response to his person having the right response to his person. To know who Christ is, that he is both David's son, a man born of the flesh, and David's Lord, the eternal God, is one thing. But each person respond to this truth by trusting in Christ as Savior and yielding to him as Lord. <clears throat> Don't go to Romans. Sabi po ron, believe in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord. Para ikaw ay magpaligtas. Doon sa Acts, sabi po ng mga gender, anong gagawin namin? Anong palataya ka sa Panginoon as a Christian. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Para maging mo siyang Savior, kailangan muna siya ay maging Lord mo. <clears throat> so dito po sa occasion na to, Jesus did not answer the question to pose, he posed, nor he called for a response. Hindi po niya sinagot yung katanungan o nagtawag man ng repentance. Because 
Iniwan niya po ito sa audience to ponder the implication of the question for themselves. Para uh, magmuni-muni sila, magnilay-nilay nila yung katanungan ito sa kanilang sarili. But yung clear implication is if Jesus is the Messiah, and the Messiah is Lord over such a great man as King David. Then, should I submit to him as my Lord? Marami po, they accept Jesus as Savior, but they are not accepting as Lord. I accept Jesus as Savior. And then, Myself is the Lord of myself. Ako pa rin ang Lord ng aking buhay. That if the Messiah is Lord over such a great man as King David, then we should submit to him as our Lord. Though Christianity is not, not just believing intellectually that Jesus is the Messiah or that He is our Savior. Through Christianity means believing in Jesus in the sense that you follow Him as Lord. <coughs> so that in thought, in words, and deed, we are going to be more and more like Him. Scripture contains uh, warning after warnings that if we claim to know Christ but continue to live in sin, we are deceived. Maraming kong pasaya sa Bible that kapag tayo ay sinasabi natin tayo ay kilala natin ang ating Pahit sa Kristo at magpapatuloy tayo sa pamumuhay, sa kasalanan diyan binadaya natin na natin ang sarili Matthew 7, 21 23 1 Corinthians 6 9 to 10, Galatians 7 6, 7 to 8 at maraming akong mga pasahe at dun sa James 2, 14 to 16 as James argues Faith that does not resolve a righteous living is not saving faith. Faith that does not resolve a righteous living is not saving faith. Hindi po natin sinasabi kapag ikaw ay mong kristyano na hindi na tayo magkakasal. The Bible simply states that believers do sin. Galatians 6, 1, 1. John 1, 8 to 10. Even David himself, the man after God's heart, sinned terribly in the incident with Bathsheba. As long as we're in this body, we will fall short of God's holy standard. But sin is not the course of life for those who truly know Christ. <clears throat> Believers struggle against sin. We, are, we have a growing hatred of it, not just in others, <clears throat> but in our hearts. We confess our sins when God's Spirit convicts them of it. We don't excuse our sins by saying we are under grace. Christians speak to be pleasing to Jesus as Lord in thought, words, and deeds. Christians seek to be pleasing to Jesus as Lord in thoughts, words, and deeds.
True religion means submitting personally to Jesus Christ as the Lord. <clears throat> At kung tayo daw ay may mga business, uh, ay meron din tayo mga basic question. What is it that we do? In other words, what is our product or what, or what service do we provide? No, mahirap daw gawin no, ang limang uri ng business kapag hindi, ta, hindi malino sa atin kung ano yung business na ating gagawin. Same thing to the church. We need to ask basic questions. Who is this Jesus we claim to follow? Sino itong Jesus na ating in-claim na pinakaro? Where is He heading us? What is it that He want us to do? Ano ba yung nais niya? May pagawa sa atin. Yung daw churches the do not answer this preliminary question <coughs> often turns into a cloud. Kasi walang direction at ilokong at hindi alam kung ano ang gagawin. At narinig natin yung debate ng ating pansokwisto dito sa mga religious leader. No? They peppered him with questions in an effort to stop him, to make him look bad. <clears throat> Jesus silenced the critics in his ating pasal. Yeah. Luke 20, verse 41 to 44. So, who Jesus is? Sino si Jesus para sa atin? Sino si Jesus sa ating mga buhay? Kaya yung mga typical religious leaders knew that the Messiah is the descendant of King David. They concluded that the Messiah would be like David, King David, and he would bring Israel to a place of prominence once again. But in the Sahabi Pasai, he saw that David spoke, the Lord said to my Lord, and this is not does not sound significant to us, but when we see yung pong Lord, no, yung capital L O R D, there's a Lord the Lord said to my Lord, ito po yung name of God. Uh Pasai said John. 856 to 59 na nai-record itong John nai-record si Apostle John Jesus said to the Jewish leader Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day He saw it and was glad You are not yet 50 years old the Jew said to him, And you have seen Abraham. I tell you the truth, Jesus answered, Before Abraham was born, I am. That this, they picked up stone to stone him. But Jesus hid himself, slipping away from the temple of God. The Jews understood that when Jesus said before Abraham was born, I am, Jesus is claiming to be eternal. <clears throat> By using the phrase I am, he was talking himself the name of God. Exodus chapter 3. So being Moses, I forgot what you know. Kung sino nagsubo sa akin, sabihin mo, 
I am. And Jesus is claiming this. Doon po sa John. Book of John. Ay sinulat ni John. Chapter 8, verse 56. At kung kaya na itong mga uh, Jews ay pumulot ng bato upang siya ay patahin. Batuhin at patahin. He believed he was speaking a blasphemy. The Messiah as a descendant of David was going to be more than merely an earthly king. Since he is going to sit at the right hand of God, he must be the Son of God. Since he is the Son of God, people should put their trust in him. So the teachers of the law were looking at the Messiah through the narrow lens of their own expectation. <clears throat> we all are prone to view Jesus the way we expect or the way we want him to be. We might see him as the one who makes medical miracles. Oh, si Jesus, nagpapagaling ng mga karagdaman. We view Jesus who bring justice to the wicked. The one who understand the torment of our hearts and mind. The one who gives us good things. The one who loves as we are. Or the one who show us the way to live. Ganon yung view natin sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. All of these things describe some of the works of Jesus, but they are not Jesus. They are things Jesus does, but it is not who He is. Hindi siya yung gaya ng inisip natin. Oh, si Jesus, great healer, yes. A great provider, yes. More than that, he is Lord. <clears throat> People who see Jesus only in terms of what he taught or what he did are missing the real beauty of Jesus. He came to earth as God living among us. He possessed the unique authority of the Son of God. Malala yung ating pag-aaral sa Mark. Verse 1 pa lang. Kaya makita na natin yung authority ng ating Lord sa Christ. At sa verse 1 pa lang, sinasabi ni Mark that Jesus is the Son of God. Being the Son of God, He is to be our Lord. Jesus wants us to make part of his kingdom. We should not only turn to him so he can meet our deepest needs. We should turn to him as one who is worthy of our devotion and worship because, because of who he is. Dahil sa ating mga pangailangan. Of course, lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Minanod yung ating devotion na siya ay kapag dapat tumanggap ng papuri, pagsamba, because of who He is. Jesus is the Lord. He alone can make us right with God. Provide forgiveness for our sin and rebellion and lead us to eternal life. At kung tayo ay may eternal life, 
Ang tama yung ating pananaw sa resurrection, dahil naman kikita kita tayo doon. <laughs> Or else. <laughs> no, nalaman nyo yung uh, tatlong surprise doon. <laughs> Kung iniisip mo na yung laron, ay makikita mga nandun. Kung iniisip na nandun, makikita mo wala. Ang tanong masakit, iniisip mo nandun ka. Ay, wala ka. <laughs> If you have the right understanding of that resurrection, and you have the right relationship with God, with, through faith in Christ Jesus, then we will experience that resurrection. Amen. And sama-sama tayo magpupuri. Sasamba sa inyo. No more pain. No more heart. No more uh, tears. He will wipe the tears in your eyes. You will walk in the gold of the street of gold. Ito lang kayo gold ngayon. Susunod, kakapakan nyo na yung gold. Kung ikaw ay sigurado <laughs> na sa piling ng Panginoon. If you are wrong on Jesus, you are wrong on everything. If you don't understand who Jesus really is, even if we are deeply sincere, we are going in the wrong direction. We can become to followers, to followers of Jesus unless we are clear as to who he is. Paano mo makapalo yung isang hindi mo nila? Kahit sa totoong buhay, kahit sa buhay, sa mundo nito, no? kung ikaw ay may pinapalo, hindi sa alam mo yung pinapalo. Are we or you following the real Christ? Or are we or you following one who fits neatly into your box? of expectation. Does Jesus explode your mind or is he confer, confined by your mind? <clears throat> he does explode your mind or is he confined by your mind? The answer to this question will determine the direction you are heaven. You must think carefully and clearly about Jesus. Who is Jesus to you? Is he really a great leader? A worthy teacher? Or the leader of a large religious movement? Or is he God who was taken in the form of man? Is he the one who really show us how to live a better life? Or is he the one who died in our place and for our sins? The best way to reveal the work of Jesus in our lives is to be consistent in our living, loving and encounter with others diligence in our diligence and harness in our dealing with others. If we will live as Jesus' lives, nung tayo ay namubuhay, kaya namubuhay ng ating sa Kristo, we will not need to broadcast that we belong to Jesus. It is it will be clearly <coughs> in the life we live. How we live as Jesus did. I will not answer this question as Jesus not answer the question. I will leave it. You want to go to the question? You want to go to the question? You want to go to the question? You want to ang Messiah na ganun sinabi niya na siya ay kanya. Um, 
those who call themselves the followers of Christ take on a great responsibility. People look at us to see how Jesus impacts our lives. People rightly expect that they will see something of Jesus in us. Yun ang ina-expect ng mga tao sa atin. That they will see something with Jesus sa ating mga buhay. Ang nasabihan, ang kapwarto natin, nasasabihin, ay Christian, hindi halata. No one expects us to be perfect, but they do expect us to be different. They want us to be honest about our struggle and serious about our obedience to the one we call Lord. If we see no practical difference from their own lives, kapag wala silang nakikita ng kaibahan sa ating mga buhay, they will conclude that they have no real need of Jesus. Kapag hindi nila nakikita sa atin yung buhay, yung pinagbuhay ng atin na sa Kristo, sasabihin nyo ba, ba't kailangan mo ba ang Jesus sa akin? Same, same lang mo. Same, same lang mo. Same, same lang Jesus knew that they would answer the Messiah is the son of David. Alam nila, yung mga Jews, even yung mga kundi na ng Jews na may knowledge, kapag sila ay tinanong mo, sino ang Messiah? They know that the Messiah is the son of David. It was commonly held believed that the Messiah would be descendant of King David as we saw dun sa Jewish crowd na nagtiplay dun sa book 18 verse 38 na yung tayong pang-entry na nalang ang posad to the son of the Jesus knew that the Jew believed that the Messiah would be a from David's line but he also knew they believe the Messiah would be like David, merely a man, yes, a very good man, gifted and blessed man, but is still a human being, less and less. They were correct in part of But in Second Samuel, it was prophesied that the Messiah Sina, alam nila yun dahil pinoprofesay doon sa 2nd Samuel na yung Messiah is coming from the line of David kaya kahit sinong tanongin mo ng Jew the knowledgeable Jews I will answer you the Christ was coming to the line of David as the son of David so the use of the term son of David by the Jews of Jesus' day, ay merong talawang kahulugan. Sa kanila, Messiah would be of a Davidic line. And the Messiah would be a woman. At sa ating pasay, the Lord corrected yung kanilang mali pananang that the Messiah is born son of David as human and the Lord of David as divine God in human flesh and ito ay tinuro sa scripture that Messiah will be son of David and yet he, David himself refers the Messiah as his Lord. How can it be? Coming? 
Paano mangyaya? Nakapangyaya At ang simple kasagutan was the miraculous na naganap the incarnation. Jesus Christ was as the Old Testament the scripture foretold and as the New Testament writers attested and confirmed both God and man, human and divine, for the miracle, for the miracle of the virgin birth. Before Christ was born, ay hindi makapangyayari sa kanya. Uh, mahirap nilang unawain na yung uh, son of David ay magpahari mag-is Lord But after Jesus was born, ay wala na yung katanungan because of the incarnation. Nandun yung masagutan that the Messiah ay maaari mag-iyuman sa David at maging Lord of David as divine. God in human flesh. At kapag tama yung ating pananaw sa ating masagpisa. At tayo ay sumunod <coughs> sa kanyang nais sa atin. At tayo na wala pa ang uh, namang relasyon sa Diyos. We need to come to Jesus. Because as John 14.6 says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father. And if we, about tayo, sinasabi natin tayo ay tagasunod ng Kristo, at hindi natin nakikita sa atin yung buhay, hindi pinamuhay ng Kristo, then, may libero siya. Hindi yeah, ang yeah, fourth yung magiging false witness tayo siya. Kasi ba? And if Jesus is our Lord, then we will do it. But Jesus wants us to do it. <clears throat> having, a prop, having a proper understanding of Jesus, then we can come and we humble ourselves and come to Him in faith, by accepting by repenting our, our sins and accepting Him as our Lord and Savior, then we will have a promise of eternal life. Praise God to push up and down on the Sanitary. Uh, mahirap tunawain ang amat sa Banal na Espiritu no, na siyang nagtuturo at nagpapalinaw. Ngayon, alam na natin na ang Diyos, na, na si Jesus ay hindi lamang siya uh, Messiah as a human, but a uh, Messiah as Lord then we will submit to Him as our Lord and as as Lord, we will do what you want us to do. To be a witness of Him in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. Sabi ko nga kung nakaraan, kung tayo ay nakukonvict at sasabihin, tayo ay tagasunod ng Kristo. Meron ang kaya silang ibigensya. Kung konflik tayo na tayo ay tagasunod ng Kristo, nakikita ang kaya tayo. 
ng ebidensya na tayo na ay pinasunod ni Kristo. Kaya po ay tumayong ba? Nagyan ang Diyos, kami po ay nagpupuri, nagpapasalamat ng God, ang Spirit ng Espiritu, ay nakumuhaan po namin ang mga salita na iyong binala sa amin at sa hapon ito. Tunay nga, O Diyos, You are not only a human, but You are God in human flesh. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po for that wonderful message that you have brought us sa hapon na ito. Kung si Haring David mo ay tinawag kanya mo ang pakami sa Diyos na tawag ng Diyos. Lord, maraming mangyari lang ito ang may kung kami na ibigitang ng Diyos sa iyo. Lord, we pray sa iyong mga harapang kamang lesyon sa iyo kung mo ay nangyosan po sa amin ng iyong mga spirit po inosin po kami kung mayroon po pang makita namin kung mayroon po pang nailangan ng Savior of God and only Jesus can provide this thank you O God that you are not only a Savior you are our Lord And being our Lord, we will submit our lives to you. Use us for the glory of God. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, sa hapon. Salahin namin, O Diyos, ng iyong mga salita, ang mga salay sa amin, O Diyos, ay hindi lamang managili sa amin ang isin na ito. Ang puso ito ay hindi sa amin ang puso at may apply po sa amin ito sa amin ang buhay. Makita sa amin, O Diyos, na tunay na kami ay iyong nagasunod. That we are your children. Nakita sa aming buhay, sa aming mga pananalita, sa aming mga gawa. We are glorified. Sa aming mga Lord, maraming maraming salam. Ako may kibusin mo ang bawat isa. Sa doon ng mga maraming spirito, Panginoon, maging buhay na testimony ka sa mga tao na mahaligyan ka sa amin ang tunay ng Panginoon na masalang nila yung buhay ng Diyos sa amin ang buhay. Lord, sa inamin ang ibigay ng asin ang kutang at kasasalang ito ang aming pagalangin sa pangalan ng Ayon Tony Jesus. Tandamin po natin yung pag-ibig ng Diyos sa amang sumasalang ang patuloy na pagdaligtas ng ating mga Kristo at ang patnubay at gabay na ang Espiritu ay sumahating lahat kayo ang mga patay ng mga. Amen. Amen.